Welcome to Middleware. Middleware is here to help engineering teams work more efficiently. It's built to give engineering leaders like you complete visibility into your workflow, allowing you to take action when needed. No more wasting time on endless catch-ups or digging through complex charts. Let's begin with the cockpit. The cockpit provides an overview of the engineering operations under your management. It's organized to highlight the most critical signals for your team, helping you focus on what matters most. The cockpit starts with focus areas to track your process goals, followed by a summary, and finally, an end-to-end -end view of how your projects are progressing and how well your processes are being executed. Now, let's walk through middleware with an example. Here, we notice that nearly half of our projects are spilling over into extra time. This is concerning as it points to poor predictability. Let's dive deeper to identify any outliers. In this case, it seems the foundation team is the outlier. So let's use middleware to explore what's going wrong. This brings us to the project overview. Here, we can examine how the team's sprints are split among planned tasks, previous spillovers and ad hoc work, and how much of this gets completed. Spillage might occur due to two reasons. Extra work from ad hoc tasks, which we can track as a trend, or poor estimation adherence by the team. Let's break it down. Let's assume one point equals one day. The team seems to handle smaller tasks well, but struggles with larger tasks, such as those estimated at four to five points. It's useful to see if this is a recent issue or an ongoing trend. You can also drill down to the developer level to provide support if they encounter surprises and work to eliminate those. As individual developers improve their adherence, the entire team's adherence improves. To further investigate the cause of this spillage, middleware lets you dive into the DORA metrics for the team, automatically populated based on your pull requests, deployments, and incidents. While it's helpful to track the four key metrics, middleware goes a step further by helping you take actions to improve them. For example, if the lead time looks high, let's explore how we can reduce it. We can see stage-wise where the team usually loses time, even when changes are ready. Here, it seems the first response time is high. The reasons might vary. It could be lengthy PR reviews taking multiple days due to large PRs or back and forth communication. It could also be at the developer level. For instance, new developers struggling to get their changes approved. Or we might spot a bottleneck in the review process. Senior developers often become bottlenecks. Sometimes the bottlenecks might even be in a different team. In this example, Jayant seems to be the bottleneck. Middleware makes it actionable. It helps you understand the real impact of this bottleneck. By analyzing calendar and PR data, we can see that Jayant, in addition to his review load, is also swamped with scheduled meetings. This effectively takes him out of the equation as a productive engineer. On the other hand, if he were focused on his own work, people would be waiting for their PRs to be reviewed for up to three days, half a week. This delay causes a 50% drop in productivity for those dependent on his reviews. As a manager, you can either spot patterns or offload work from someone like Jayant using code experts. Once you balance his workload, you'll notice a decrease in cycle time, better estimation adherence, and improved delivery predictability. Your focus for each team may shift from quarter to quarter. That's why we have focus areas to help you set targets on relevant metrics at any level whether it's global, for a director, or for a specific pod. The best part? Middleware sets all of this up in just 15 minutes without any changes to your teams, only improved productivity. Thanks for your time, and we hope to see you on Middleware soon.